everybody, Jen from Scrapping Under the Influence. I am here today with my first project uh, with the new Doodlebug Hey Pumpkin line for Doodlebug Design. So this time I've used one of the um, acrylic albums from my shop. This one is 5x7. They are available on my website. Um, and I'm going to walk you through how I put it together, how I decorated everything. This is five pages. So on the front here, we've got one of the big pieces from the Bits and Pieces pack, um, along with a chit-chat piece, apparently stray adhesive that just does not want to come off there. Oh, I don't know how I did that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, and then um, I've used the 6x6 six six pad for any of the matting in here. And to make a lot of like some little flaps and things, I actually used the Hey Pumpkin Cardin Envelope Assortment. So when you open up in here, we've got some icon stickers, another piece of chit chat. This is one of the cards from the Cards and Envelopes assortment, um, paired with stickers from the icon sticker sheet and some chit chat. And when you open it up in here, we've got another chit chat and a piece of the 6x6 pad. Um, here is one of the envelopes from the uh, 6x6 pad. I'm sorry, the cards and envelopes, and I used the um, die set for the collection, the Doodle Cuts. Um, oh my gosh, I've lost the name of it. And apparently I've lost the die set along with it. <laughs> no, there it is. The uh, Doodle Cuts Good Spirits set. So I cut the tree and the fence pieces from that that I've got on my envelope here. And when you open it up, I used a couple of the scraps from the six by six pad to um, kind of mat the inside of the envelope. I've got pieces from my odds and ends and my chit chat, uh, the cute little wreath here from the bits and pieces and the um, chit chat piece there as well. On the back side, I used another one of the cards from the cards and envelopes just for another flap there. Um, here I've got odds and ends and another one of the icon stickers. I absolutely love the little witches in this collection. They're so cute. Um, here again, we've got the six by six paper pad, uh, piece from the, the border piece from the bits and pieces, another chit chat piece. Here I've got another one of the card bases. I've got the little view master reel from the uh, bits and pieces and I added a couple of the puffy icons and then some of the mini icon stickers along with a couple of pieces of chit chat. And I've got that on a brad so that does turn. And then when you flip up the card base here, we've got just um, a little photo mat there that's covering up the backside of my brad and some of the um, odds and ends pieces. And then on the back, I've got one of the cute little candy houses from the odds and ends along with a chit chat piece. So um, I'm going to walk you through exactly how I put this all together and let's get to it. Okay, so for this, we are going to use one of my um, 5x7 acrylic albums from my website. And I'm going to show you how to use one of these and not have things show that you don't want to show and so on and so forth. So for my first page, I have this out of the bits and pieces and a piece out of the chit chat that are going to go on here about like so. This piece from the 4x6 pad is going to go behind it, okay? So the whole idea is going to be we're only going to put adhesive where it's not going to show, okay? So what I'm going to do is kind of line this up on the back here about where I want it to go. So that I know when I put this down on the front where I can put adhesive. So this one's going to be fairly straightforward. And adhesive wise, I am using the um, permanent uh, adhesive refill for the Easy Runner Grand. So you can see there, I don't have adhesive along this bottom of about, about the bottom half inch. Okay. So I'm going to line this up like so, okay? This one's going to go up here at the top, 
So I'm only going to get adhesive along this bottom edge. Okay. We're going to center this up here. Okay. So now I'm going to go on the back side and I'm going to take and just put adhesive directly on the acrylic. where it backs up behind the pieces that are on the front. Okay, I'm gonna line this up and there we go. Page one is done. So I can add additional embellishments on the back here. I've got a bunch of these little pieces from the um, Doodle Cuts uh, Good Spirits die. Um, that I've got on the back here that I could go ahead and kind of line this up like so. And put these down on the back side, but I can come back and do that here in a little bit. So I'm going to set that one aside. I'm going to grab my next page. So for the next page, for the front, we're going to use the this card, or I'm sorry, this is going to go on the back. The front is going to be the super cute little wreath, okay? The back side is going to be this card from the um, card and envelope pack for the Hey Pumpkin assortment. So there's six cards in here. We're actually going to use a couple of these on the album just because it's an easy way to add something interesting like in this case we're going to have a flap on the back here and just make it super easy to do so again i'm going to turn this so this is the front of my page i'm going to line this up where i want it and lay this down on top, okay? And then I'm gonna take my little wreath, and because this is gonna cover the entire underside of this wreath, I can go ahead and do my tape all the way around, and then I can set that down, come back on this side, and then this time we're going to go directly onto the album with the adhesive. Okay, make sure I'm right side up. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and put that one down. <coughs> and then I can come back later on and add some more decorations and stuff to that one. Okay, our next piece, this with the black, or I'm sorry, with the pink on the one side and then the floral with the spiders on the other is gonna go on the back side. So again, we're just gonna pick this up, line this up, like so, and then we're going to put this little tree and the fence piece on this back side, okay? So again, I'm going to leave about the bottom half inch or so without any adhesive. Figure out where I want this lined up at. I'm going to put this to the bottom. I'm going to make sure that my adhesive does not come out the side. 
little piece here. It didn't come off. Okay. And so then this is going to go down like so. And then we're just going to do the exact same thing again. It just came down too far on that one, but that's okay. So we can get it off. Okay. So there we go. That's our next one. Okay. Our next page. Oh, whoops. Except I just put that on the way I did not want it. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can carefully pull it off. That was lucky. <laughs> oh my gosh, seriously. There are some days. There we go. And then this piece is just going to go right here on the top. Okay? Much better. That is what we wanted. Oh my gosh, that could have been messy. All right, next page. We are going to use on the back side, we're going to do this fun little card base as another flap. We're going to get this little doodle bug sticker off the back of it here. There we go. Okay. So that's going to go on the back side. No, it's not. It's going to go on the front. Okay. So I'm going to line that up about where I want it to go. Again, we're going to lay this down. We're going to put the cute little house on the back. And again, because I'm using the cards to make it easy to add some little flaps and some things that are interactive, makes it really easy to adhere these because they, um, that card's covering most of that backside. Right. I want to. Put this just slightly underneath that. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so then I can come on the back side again. And I know I'm repeating myself, but you know, personally, when I'm doing something that maybe I haven't done before like this, repetition helps. So if you're going, okay, just shut up, Jen, move on, then you can just fast forward. It's fine. All right. So the other thing that I'm going to do, I've got this cute little piece from the bits and pieces. I've got to grab my brad. So let me grab a brad really quickly. And, well, maybe. So what we want to do, and I don't want a mini brad, I want a chunky brad. There we are. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to glue this little Viewmaster piece to this circle. And this was just 
a circle die out of my stash, trying to get as close size-wise to that as I could. So we are going to glue this on here. Center that up. Okay, then I am going to take my crocodile. Haha, -ha, apparently not that crocodile because that's the little one. You know what? I actually can do it with a pokey tool, so hold on one second. Find a brad. I'm going to just take my pokey tool, I'm going to pop a hole in here. I'm going to lay this on here. I'm going to mark where I want my brad to go through there. And we're going to do the exact same thing. And I should have done this before adhering this down, but honestly, I got sidetracked there and forgot that this is how we planned on doing this. So I'm going to feed my brad through the middle there. Feed it through this hole, open it up, and go ahead and put that down. And then I'm going to take my second circle, and we're going to put that on the back side there to cover up that brad. Okay. So now this will turn and you have another interactive element. Okay, do I have, nope, I got that, all right. So our last page, we are actually gonna put this card base on here like so, and then on the back, and we really could leave the back as is, but I'm gonna take this little envelope, and that's gonna go on the very back. Okay, so I'm just going to center that up there, flip this back around, and then we're going to do the same thing we've been doing. Okay, and I want to make sure that my opening is going to go out away from where my rings are going to be eventually. Okay, so there we go, and there we go. So now, I'm grab the rest of our pieces. I want this one for my cover, for sure. And then I can decide, I think that's gonna be my back page. And I'm gonna put this one like so. This one here, and do this one here. Okay just like so. So now all I need to do is put my rings on and then I can come back through and do any additional decorating that I want to do. Oh, let's get our room through the right way. It would help. <laughs> okay, there's one, there's two. All right, so now my cover is good for the most part. I can go ahead and do some more decorating and whatnot through the back side here, um, just depending on how I want to do this, honestly. I think these would be really cute on here. So, we can actually take our tree 
And I'm going to trim just a tiny bit off the bottom. And then figure out where my pencil go. Okay, so I'm actually going to put the mark. So I've got little tiny pencil marks there, which you probably can't see. I'm going to cut that off because I can take my base of my tree and glue it down like so. Then I can take my top, line that up, like so, and then it's on the top flap of my envelope so I can stick some more pictures and things in there. If, you know, you've gone and done some activity somewhere that's, you know, kind of out where maybe you don't, um, you have like wristbands or you have tickets or something, um, you can put those in there to save them. And then I can go ahead and put my little fence pieces on here, like so. I may have to trim one off on the edge there, but that's okay. So, very gently, probably should get my finer tip on here, but I'm not going to. Put that down on here, right out to this edge. And we're going to put our next piece, like so. I'll decide if I'm going to use my little posts or not. Actually, I'm going to because what I can do is take this. I can go right up against the side like so. There we go. Put our fence over here. Actually. Leave the gap right there. Okay, there's that one. And then this one, we're going to end up cutting part of this off. Okay. Now I can come back to my little post here. And I can put another one of the little posts over here.
And then I can find, let's, let's grab our chit chat and our odds and ends. And I can go ahead and add that up in the corner there. In fact, I think I'm going to add that with some foam squares just to give it some dimension. that and then we're going to add a couple more and there we go okay so then let's see here we can add that little piece on there like that And that will finish off our little envelope. If I wanted to, I have to think about that. I've got some scraps of the six by six paper that I have used so far. Let's put that there. Let's find a little ghost while we're at it. We're gonna tuck him in like that. There we go. I like how that came out. So I've got a couple scraps of this paper that I really could go ahead and trim down. But let's go ahead and do that. So that will fit right down in there. Mm. I think I want the pink. Okay. okay, there we go. And then I can put this piece on here, but I do want to trim that. So what I'm going to do is kind of lay that in here. like so, and then I can trim. And then we can put this one in. There we go. And that little page is finished. Okay, so let's do that actually. Actually, I don't want to put those on home squares because I don't want it catching on this other side. So I am going to go ahead and just use my tape runner. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm just going to continue on um, adding little elements here and there. And <clears throat> I'll show you what we end up with when I'm finished.
Okay, so there we go. We have got our completed album. And I'll show you something else really cool that I didn't really do anything with um, with this album, but it would be amazing. So the bits and pieces, a lot of these little pieces are mirrored so that they fit back to back perfectly. So you can actually put them on something like this and line them up exactly back to back. And it just looks really cool. So just, you know. Another little thing there. So we've got that little flap. We've got our little envelope here to put some little keepsakes in or some extra pictures. We've got our little flap here. Got our cute little witch on the broom. We've got photo spot here. A couple spots there. Our little Viewmaster reel turns. And then we've got our cute candy house on the back. So there you go. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys stopping by and come back soon. I will be back soon with another fun project.